All right, welcome back to the channel. This is Emstead, and today we're gonna have something a little different. I bought a used bush hog, and I wanna just kinda restore it, bring it back to life. So check out the process. Okay, I'm gonna move the tractor though, pull up, and then I'm gonna put it up on something. Okay, this is the bush hog that I bought. Um, yeah, I uh, started on the blade yesterday. They were really bad. I mean, these blades are pretty bad, but I just kind of put an edge on it as best as I can with the grinder and on this side. But um, I'm gonna try it out, see how, how they work. And if they don't cut that good, then I might have to completely replace these. So now, um, today, what I want to do is just, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to make it like perfectly like amazing or anything. Just, just so it can look, uh, just so it can look a lot better than this. So I'm gonna just sand it down right here. Try to get rid of this, um, what is it called, rust, as best as I can, and then just put a little bit of primer and paint it. Or on it or whatever, so I'm gonna put it on top of the tire. Yes. Yeah, one more. Yeah. Do one more tire. Put some like wood underneath it. Wanna kind of wash the dirt before I start. So I have no idea what brand this bush hog is. The label, I think that was one of the uh, labels, but or badges for it and it's been painted over completely. I mean, I don't know. But I want to kind of make it look nice.
So yeah, this is not gonna be like perfect. You know, I don't really care about for it to be perfect. I just wanted to kind of freshen it up. Yeah. So I'm obviously not gonna get rid of all this rust here on the surface. I'm gonna get a new wheel for it later though. Get a brand new one replaced. No. bet this thing went through so many hours somewhere out there going through the brush finally I got my own at least try to get most of it so when I paint it it will stick better Brake cleaner works good. Look, this is like mold, huh? He takes it off like this. So the PTO shaft that goes right here to the tractor is at a machine shop right now. I'm getting it fabricated for it to, to fit on my tractor because it was too short. So that's going to be ready in like three days, I hope. That's what kind of gave me the idea. It's like might as well if I'm going to wait for that to be done, clean this up, you know, paint it up. And it's gonna be cool because I'm gonna paint it um, orange to match the tractor. I don't know if it's exact the same orange, but it's gonna be close enough, yeah. What this is, but I bought it like this, I guess. This is where the oil goes, and you didn't have a plug for it, and I guess you just made one like that. And what would have been pretty cool if I had a, a sandblaster. There's a there's a kind that sell a portable one for the outside, and pretty much it it blows sand out of a nozzle. Would have would have made this a lot easier, dude. I don't know if I'll clean that perfectly, but because I don't know if I'm gonna really spray that part. Engine decreaser. Look at this. Kind of cleaning it.
Well, it looks a little better, yeah. yeah. Oh, not bad. Actually. Good enough. hours later. Put a little bit more of the primer. One eternity later. <laughs> <laughs> 